call? Excellent. Okay, uh, we added an award this year. In conjunction with our push to encourage the elimination of tags, we're presenting an award to the brokerage with the lowest ratio of tags per item in 2014. In selecting today's winner, we took into account that higher volumes of items create more opportunities for errors. So we set a requirement that only brokerages which filed at least 1,000 items for the year should be considered for the award. So we, uh, we ran the numbers, and I'm pleased to present the award for the best tag performance of 2014 to Brown & Brown of Missouri, broker number 6890. Among brokerages that filed more than 60 items in 2014, Brown & Brown was the only brokerage without a single tag for the entire year. And Wild was right. It's also worth noting that they didn't have any in 2013 either. And if that's not impressive enough, I, I was having a discussion last night, and they process 40,000 certificates a day. A day. And I asked, how do you do that? Well, Brown & Brown's a slip user. Here comes the commercial. Okay? <laughs> slip users have a tag per item ratio of less than 3%, as compared with more than 30% for all SLA filers as a whole. So if you're not already using SLIP, please consider doing so. It's convenient, it saves paper, and it helps reduce the tax. Now, unfortunately, Brown and Brown couldn't uh, send a representative to the meeting, so we'll make sure that we mail the uh, award to them. One more, one more time. Remember, if you need help in reducing the number of tags received, contact the SLA. We offer the new filer program to help novice filers, as well as Assistance to filers via telephone, email, we'll come sit at your desk. We don't care. We're here to help. Okay? As I mentioned earlier, taking up slip for your filings can also be very helpful in avoiding violations. Your association is here to help you. Please take advantage of this offer. Let's get those tags under control in 2015. Uh, okay, is there any new business? Oh. I'm supposed to act surprised now, Pam. <laughs> Today I have the honor of making a special presentation to our chair, Ian Fett, not only to commemorate his year of board chairman, but also his many years of service to the SLA and the broker community. Ian, would you please stand? Looking tall, dark, and handsome while I take down memory lane. I can't do that without <laughs> <laughs> So, Ian has served five years as a member of the board of directors, including the <coughs> chair, vice chair, and secretary treasurer. Over the past year, he has demonstrated exemplary and dynamic leadership as a board chair, and he's been a highly valued board member since 2010. Additionally, Ian has also served as a member of the Admitted Market Liaison Committee from 2007 to 2012, a member of the Stamping Committee from 2009 to 2013, and a member of the Audit Committee 2013 to 2014. As many of you know, each year we honor our outgoing chair with a rude replica of the famed Blue Team Bell. To provide a little background on Blue Team Bell, this hangs in Lloyd's underwriting room in London. The bell came into the hands of the British Navy in 1793 when the French frigate Lutine surrendered to the British at Toulon. Rechristened the HMS Lutine, it sank six years later off the Dutch coast, carrying a cargo of gold and silver bullion then valued at over one million pounds. The cargo was insured by Lloyd's underwriters who paid the claim. Over the next 60 years, there were numerous salvage attempts, and in 1859, Lloyds recovered the ship's bell and hung it in the underwriting room at the Royal Exchange. Traditionally, when the Lloyds receives news that an overdue ship has either arrived safely or had been lost, it would ring the bell twice for good news and once for bad, <clears throat> so that everyone would simultaneously have the interest in the ships could learn the news. It is now my pleasure to ring the bell twice to signify that Ian has arrived safely at the end of his chairmanship. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Pam. Okay, uh, assuming that there's no further business, may I have a motion to adjourn this portion of our business meeting? Is there a second? That's always a quick second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed, signify by saying no. The motion carries and business meeting is adjourned. Please join us and thank you for attending our 2015 annual meeting.